Hello and welcome to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3 and let us just get in. Professor Langley really thinks of me. What's strange? To think that I'm... I adopt the mutiny of the of someone else. You, moving in. This one. If you go any further, the brain will dominate us. We are not ready. We should heed the Emperor's warning. Got it. Passing the gate could be the death of us. I should speak up. Wait, if you don't read the Gazette, the phone is staying Aha! Uh -huh. Thought I sensed an infer. Karlak, right? Without you, Lord, I'd have been toast twice over. First in a druid's grove, then at last light in. Thank you for saving my life. But I have to ask, what are you doing here? We have business in the city. Same as you, by the looks of things. Nice forge you have here. Hold on. I know you. 
The weaponsmith, right? Drafted into the blood war when your city was swallowed by Avernus. Not too different from my own story. Well done making it out alive. Same to you. Though unless my senses deceive me, you brought a bit of the hells back with you. Infernal engine? Who needs a heart when you've got one of these to keep you warm? Thank you, Zariel. Forget warm. You're burning up. Might be burning out a piston ring. Or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Please do. I've been dying to find an infernal mechanic. Now that's hot. Too hot. I think I could sort you out. But I'll need some infernal iron and a lot of luck. Hey, soldier. We've got some infernal iron already. Let's give it to him, eh? Please let this work. Mmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. I can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... Changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Let me sleep on it. I just might be able to work something out. Hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. I'll need more infernal iron either way, though, so keep your eyes open. Take care. is all that matters.
Blood comes easy these days. Tear every brick out if you have to. If it doesn't come, we must find evidence. It seems your report was good, Wawargaz. Glad you could join us, Lozel. I'm told you carry an artifact most cherished. Tell me, Lozel of Kalir, what reward do you think the Astral Prism will fetch once I pluck it from your corpse and present it to Vlakith? What honors, what riches will the undying queen grant me when I hand her the failed prince? Stand down. I protect the prism on our queen's behalf. The undying queen cares not for who delivers her the prism and the traitor prince within. All that matters is that it is delivered. The false heir's head will make a fine trophy for Vlakith. As for you... I will leave nothing behind but meat and shattered bone. I will remember you said that. That's quite all right. I was not asking for it. Hataka! Well, Wargat failed to kill you. I won't make the same mistake. Got it.
search for peace. Forever, pal. Time to push my luck again. Gods, it's hot in here.
moving. going a little longer now.
have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Light on my feet. How do I open this? Be here. It's not safe. She has my scent. Run. Do not stop until you feel sunlight and fresh air. Orin. Orin the Red. <laughs> she tormented me with blades and, and hot irons. I resisted. But then she forced me to drink a foul brew. The rabid, cursed blood of all manner of beasts. I lost control. I felt the bear take over, blood crazed. And she forced me into a cage, along with with children taken from the streets. I was powerless to stop myself. Their screams, her laughter, it's all I can hear. I do not deserve to see the sun again. She's too strong. You have to turn around, go. Let me buy you some time. She's coming for you. <sighs> Fool. Rabid beasts must not be coddled. They must be put down. Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you and your little pet. Nothing. No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Baal's temple. <laughs> I will not slice. His kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new, 
sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. Catherick's killer turned the corpse lover to carrion when you took his stone. Oh, but he was a dull kill. No blood to spill, no guts to rip. A desiccated husk, all dust and hollow. You must be sharpened before you set your edge against my skin. <laughs> Against the tyrant's throat, of course. <laughs> heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath, never to hang him from the hooks. Trip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is balls. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Orin demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the Nether Stones and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. <sighs> the promise of slaughter? Of pain and humiliation, and the sound of blood drip dropping into the gutter. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> that is Baal's offer. He will not make another. does. Hold on, I missed something. What was that? Oh no, it's the same. Okay, no, never mind. It's the same.
Hold up, citizen. This is a crime scene. No admittance. The Vela's finished her report. We can let them pass. Halt, Civi. Turn back. This is an active crime scene. Hold on, Thornil. I'm tired of standing here. The Vela's been up there for ages. <laughs> Some diversion would be welcome. Chances are the constable will throw you down the stairs, but... Go ahead, citizen. I can deal with something to break the monotony. Stelman's parlor. A place to receive clients. Of these rooms are available to rent. I wonder if it's as I remember it. those idiots not to let anyone through you name rank and reason for interrupting an active crime scene for your sake the last one better be bloody good an adventurer <laughs> fantastic we don't have enough of those in Baldur's Gate unless you've got useful information leave me to my work Duke Stelmane's dead and I've got to find who killed her Very nice. Correct on most counts. You might prove useful. Here's all I found. The Duke was paralyzed by poison. Absolutist symbols scrawled on the floor in blood. Hand removed, pre-mortem. The symbol's the bit that bothers most. You use poison when you want to get away with murder. So why leave a symbol at the scene of the crime? Doesn't make any sense. And the removal of the hand I have a theory, but... Oh, well, you're a civilian. That one will be for me to follow up. She's not just reticent to share her theory, she's hiding a physical object. A document of some sort. I've been working on an assignment. A side project of sorts. I think the removal of the hand is the key, but I just can't figure out how. Corpses without hands are showing up all over the city, together with dioramas of death and murder. It has to be connected. The brutality of it. The unnecessary brutality. My theory is that it's got something to do with the Lord of Murder himself, Baal. 
The higher-ups don't want to hear that. Of course. The last thing they need is public hysteria about a cult that was supposed to have died out over a century ago. <sighs> I'd follow up myself. But while this uniform gets me into certain places, it keeps me out of others. Especially places that don't want to be found. Perfect. Uh, unofficially, mind. As far as the higher-ups are concerned, you're still just a civilian. If you end up breaking any laws, well, I won't be able to help you. Report back to me if you find anything. And thank you. If I'm right, you'll be doing a great service to the city. You are intruding in the palace of Kazador Zar. Leave now, citizen. The guard's words are clear, but spoken without thought or intent. Behind her eyes, you see nothing. She's a drone under some magical charm. Of course, whatever the master desires. Enter freely, and of your own will. Is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. 
only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. written in archaic Kozikuran, a rare version of an already obscure language. You can make out enough to recognize an incantation, but the specifics elude you. You can tell you're missing something, though. You spot a reference to the family signet. The indentation seems to be the right size and shape to fit a signet ring bearing the family crest. So much to prepare. Whoever killed this werewolf burned it up from the inside. Its throat and innards are more liquid than solid. What's inside? Wits and blades always sharp. Is that blood? No, never mind. What's next, I wonder?
looking ahead. I wonder what the next move is. Oh, action, not reaction. Still breathing. Despite everything. Where is my call to the dead? Uh, where is it? I need to talk to this guy. Where is Skull to the Dead? I know I have it. this thing eh fuck doesn't matter my faith will guide me Making me sweat. There's no time to waste. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Oops, do damage. Okay, fair enough. With a shot, right? Another step forward. Oh, I curse to put my hands on everything. That door is saturated. It feels so weak. There's necrotic magic at work here. Why are you here? 
forms and servants have been summoned below. Squeak, you rat! Wait. You are neither spawn nor servant. An intrusive mortal, then. You made a mistake, little thief. the language on that strange door. I still can't read it, though. Must have not been walked a stupid spawn. See if I can open this. May we be worthy of you? Eager for battle. So that's it's progress. Breathe deep and move. Let's see. Bless us, Master. May we be worthy of you. The door remains sealed, with naught to see but... The ring slots perfectly into place. But nothing happens. However, you get a feeling from the door, as if it expects something else. A strange writing on the door glints in the candlelight. Perhaps it's significant. The door remains sealed, with naught to see but strange writing. Okay, I need something else then, that's fine. I get that next time. All right. Then with this, I am ending this episode. And I'll
wish you all a good day and I will see you next time. Goodbye.